I had folk guys that were bigger, folk guys that were smaller, guys that folk the Buddhist style, and guys that who folk the passive style. My career had never been made by one fighter. I've been fortunate enough to fight a, all the best fighter in my area, and all of them add to what you would call the Holyfield career. With a career that has spanned three decades, Holyfield is arguably the most revered, most respected fighter of his generation. Despite the amassed wealth, the accolades, and the accomplishments, the 37-year-old veteran continues his fighting career. Why? Because he's hoping to become the first to ever win the heavyweight title four times. This fight, you know, I will be four-time heavyweight champion, or I'll be the first person ever to do that. The new heavyweight champion of the world, Evander, the real deal, Holyfield. When Floyd Patterson did it, he was the only guy that ever did it twice. Of course, when Ali did it, he was the only guy that did it three times. So for this generation, you know, it's taken him to another level. Tonight's fight thrusts one of boxing's most reclusive fighters, John Ruiz, into the spotlight. When I'm at home, I like to spend time with the family. You know, I, we don't talk. We don't talk about boxing or anything else. Just how school went and, and how the day was. His low-key personality and shy demeanor have made this quiet man an unknown man, even in his hometown of Boston. I don't want to get that recognized yet. It's happened this morning. I was running, and this guy came up. Hey. I don't want to use the same language he used on TV, but you know, he basically you gotta go out there and kick butt, you know? While Holyfield intends to be the first four-time world champion, Ruiz has ambitions to be the first Latino to win a heavyweight title. It will be part of history. I mean, one day when my kids, my kids are growing up, you know what I mean? You know, who was the first Latino heavyweight champion of the world, you know what I mean, in the heavyweight division? You know, it's just something that I'll be proud of, you know, not only being the heavyweight champion for being a Latino fighter. I'm taking this fight because I haven't finished my goal. My goal was to be the honest to be the heavyweight champion of the world. I think it's my time because um, Holyfield, it seemed like he, he already had his time. You know what I mean? People are already calling him. When I first got the fight, you know, I just, I was wondering, isn't he retired? I'm blessed enough to know that this is a, a title fight that allows me to be back in the position for ultimately what I came for. I'm excited and I, um, I just want to get the, get out there and fight. That's the one thing. I just want to go out there and just, just go toe to toe and just get the fight over with. Oh, the